Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope you're good. I hope everything's fine and uh, check this out. So we are in our hostel project and look at how beautiful everything looks. So make sure you watch the videos, right? So I've made separate videos for this uh, beautiful uh, wave uh, facade design and uh, with these adaptive families and we have our created walls, all right? So they're completely parametric and they look very nice. You know, today we are going to be making uh, those grooves, right? Uh, grooves are something that uh, you see very often and they're most use in these on these classical houses so how do we make them inside Revit? there are quite a few ways of making them in our case we are going to be using the the shortcut you do, or you could say the easiest way which is the wall reveal all right so these are grooves but in our case uh, you know we are going to be uh, making a separate profile for this right so we have made a groove all right let's just leave that let's go to new let's go to new right here and let's go to the profile and reveal all right so let's try to make two profiles and let's make a beautiful groove in Revit today all right so once that is done let's go to the home let's go to new and uh, uh, reveal, reveal, reveal. Okay, let's make two profiles. Let's press U and right here. Let's go to two, 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 two millimeters and uh, two decimal places. Okay, okay. Let's go inside. Let's go to uh, line and uh, let's make it. Uh, let's press MD. Let's click on that and uh, let's set the distance to 25 mm by 25 mm. And uh, guys, this is it. Alright, so this is our first roof. Let's press save as. So let's go to the family and uh, let's go to. Uh, SQU which is a square let's press one right here and okay okay the first groove is loaded in and uh, let's go to the load into the project so let's load that in that is fine and now let's make our second profile so let's go to reference files again let's zoom in let's press UN right here let's click on this let's click on this millimeters let's go to two decimal places okay okay RP uh, let's make our RP and RP RP right here and uh, after that, let's click on this. So this one, let's set this to 12.5 mm and uh, this one right here to 12.5 mm and uh, this one right here to 25 mm. All right, so it's basically the same thing. Let's come right here and uh, this one, let's make it a beautiful uh, triangle, All right? <laughs> Very nice. So let's go to save as again. Let's go to the family. Let's go to T-R-I-I-I, -I -I, which is the triangle, the above one was the square, so let's press 1 right here, let's press OK, let's press OK, and uh, let's load it into the project, and I'm speaking fast because uh, let's shorten up our videos, alright, let's press home button right here, and uh, let's try to zoom in, and uh, this is our first groove, right, which doesn't look very nice, so let's go to the, the edit, let's go to the duplicate, and uh, let's go for SQ, which is the square profile, and this is it, right, so these are our profiles, our scale, and check this out, guys, so basically, our, our, we have made our beautiful groove uh, inside Revit. These are those classical grooves and uh which we have on classical houses and you know they're very often all right i'm sure you guys must have seen it in many places after that you know once we make one of the groups let's just go to uh you could say array and uh, let's array this for example uh 10 times and uh okay 10 10 was less uh, let's click on that how about 35 um all right and this is it guys look at how beautiful our you could say our our cutted wall our voided wall our grooved wall is look at how beautiful this is and you know we can do the same on this case right here okay on this wall i mean uh, let's go to this so let's go to texture let's go to wall let's go to wall review and uh, let's go on this side okay let's go to the second one that is so big and uh, you know you can just simply follow it so we did follow it right uh, let's try to come to this profile let's try to zoom in 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 and uh, it is beautifully copied on the the same the other wall let's go to the edit let's go to the duplicate and this is going to be the try okay and again let's load in the triangle profile let's press okay and uh, here you go <laughs> so very uh, beautiful for example if you please it up if we grab this and we uh, match it with this one and that was 25 mm by 25 mm uh, come on from up to down and I could not uh, reveal fail to cut okay that's fine so uh, for example let's just simply in order yes here you go okay so this is uh, our beautiful uh, you could say our grooves and uh, you know this one has a, a, a triangular profile on it uh, let me quickly 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 uh, let's try to uh, grab this groove right here. Let's go to array. Let's go to this. Let's uh, go to this part right here And uh, let's just uh, simply write 25 and let's try to uh, quickly paste our profile 25 times And uh, let's see what happens. Yes, and here you go guys 
So look at this. Look at our beautiful uh, triangular shaped grooves. All right. So this is how you make uh, classical grooves inside Revit. And uh, you know, the, the video is basically ended right here. So look at how beautiful this is. And uh, you know, when you're making these profiles, there are also many other possibilities that can happen. Uh, for example, uh, do we, you know, before ending the video, let's uh, let's pick groove right here. So let's go to ball reveal right here. And uh, I think I'm going to go for the square one. So uh, uh, in this case, I've overdone it. They're, uh, they're usually not that much. Um, uh, let's go to this side right here t -t 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 and uh, let's just go to this side and uh, let's uh, let's array this from uh, from this point to this point and uh, in most of the cases I think there are four on one wall is more than enough and uh, here you go right so it suddenly changes the look of a wall and uh, look at how nice they are and uh, wall reveal again and uh, make sure you follow it alright so we just quickly followed it Let's go to this side right here. Let's try to zoom in a little bit. And uh, it is followed from that other profile. So that's fine. Let's go to array. And uh, array from this to to, to, to this uh, right here. And uh, let's just give it again uh, 4. And uh, here you go. All right. So it suddenly changes, you know, the, the look of a, of a wall. And look at how beautiful these voids and these grooves are. And they're followed from one wall. I mean, the profile follows from one wall to another wall. All right. So this would be it. Have a good day. Take care of yourself. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.